I want to welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight, we're going to talk about these Alabama twins, the famous twins, who father end up dead, being shot to death. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, and also comment on this video. These two young ladies, the famous twins, happen to be huge TikTok stars and Instagram stars. Their father had an altercation with a young man that these two young ladies knew. The father was very dismayed about his daughter's twerking on Instagram and TikTok. He basically did not like the way they were acting in the way they were showing their bodies to the public. So to me, what basically happened is that these young ladies must have been talking to this young man who also shot a woman who was near their father. And they must have been telling him how tough their father has been on him because the man, the young man, pulled the trigger too quickly on the father. Now, these two young ladies, the famous twins, started a GoFundMe to bury their father. They have to live with the fact that they spend most of their time complaining to this young man about their father. And we don't want to think about the worst thoughts in our minds because we think everyone and everyone has a good side to them. But we have people who have a bad side to them and you see it every day in society. Why would this young man kill their father right in front of them? If these two young ladies didn't provide enough information about him so that he would pull the trigger. These are two beautiful young ladies. Most men would gladly love to be around them. And young ladies, I don't want to say anything negative, can dissuade a young man to doing something that he normally wouldn't do. Now this young man will have to spend the rest of his life behind bars. For what? For shooting their father? For what reason? Something that did not have anything to do with them. And these young ladies will have to spend the rest of their life dealing with the consequences that they may not have been involved, but they may have been involved in their own father's death or indirectly involved by telling that young man how their father was being tough on them because of the way they were acting on TikTok. Now they're taking donations on GoFundMe. They're getting plenty of likes. But there is consequences to every situation in life. If you have a problem with your parents, you shouldn't tell anyone. Those problems should be settled within the family. And a father is always going to protect his daughters. A father is always going to dissuade his daughters from being a Jezebel or a harlot. He wants her to be an upstanding woman and being looked at as a woman, a decent woman in society. So you would expect a father to act this way and be tough. I know that these young ladies is above age, but a father never stops being a father to his daughters. He's always going to be a protector of her honor. And that's what the father was being. But as you can see now, he's dead. And these young ladies have no one in the future who they can lean on when times are tough, 
when their boyfriends leave them or when their husbands leave them. This is a sad tragedy. And you see these tragedies happen all around the country because most people don't even know that most crimes are either crimes of passion or things that happen within a family. And this seems to be one of them. I hope these young girls take heed of what their father was trying to tell them. Because what he was trying to tell them, he was right. And he was doing this from experience that you always want to be as a woman seen in your best light. Yes, you have a lot of followers. And yes, you have a lot of fans because they're looking at you. Yes, as you do squits, but they're looking at you as a sexual object, not as women who are intelligent, uplifting, and could be actually a future wife. These young ladies will never be able to live this down. They will spend the rest of their lives thinking about what happened in that split second. Maybe we shouldn't have told this young man. Maybe we shouldn't have never talked to him about what was going on between me and my father. That's why they always tell you what happens in a home stays in a home. Now their father is gone and they have to deal with this on their own. We have to understand, especially young people, that it's good to take advice from family members, your father, your mother, we know that you get to a certain age, the decisions should be made on your own. But the reason why you don't want them to make those bad decisions, because you may have made them in the past. From past experience, you try to give your children information so they won't make those mistakes. But we have a society today that tells everyone, you can do whatever the hell you want and there will be no consequences. And we seen that earlier, that there is consequences. We seen that with Shikari Richardson, to where she threw all the way to hard work of four years just to smoke some weed. So let this be a lesson to other people who see these twins now without a father, that mistakes can be made but if you try and do it the right way, this shouldn't happen. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.